The Canadian Avalanche Foundation has sponsored numerous school visits in western Newfoundland, and one memorable one occurred last winter. I had been asked to give a presentation at Jakeman Allgrade in Trout River. During the presentation, I mentioned that shooting cracks often mean that the snow is unstable. A few days later, one of the teachers phoned me and said that one of their students had triggered an avalanche. The student had seen shooting cracks move across the slope and immediately turned his snowmobile down slope and fortunately managed to outrun the avalanche traveling 80 miles an hour. He said that my tip had perhaps saved his life. Let's listen to Robert Brake tell about his close call in the tablelands of Gross Morn National Park. I'm with uh, Robert and Trevor just outside of uh, the community of Trout River, and they're going to tell us a little bit about uh, an avalanche that occurred here recently. First of all, Robert, what, what kind of weather did you have for the day? It was a nice sunny day. It was about four degrees above zero, and we were just highway marking upside the hill. And can you tell us uh, what, what happened? Just point out uh, behind us what you were doing. Well, we were just running up the hill here to the route of the avalanche, and uh, I decided to go over to the left, and when I shouted up the hill, I seen the snow, I just started to break under my skidoo, and I just shouted back down the hill again. <laughs> and, and how fast were you going to get away from the avalanche? I was going close to 80 miles an hour when I hit the bottom. And uh, has anyone from your community ever seen an avalanche in that spot before? Um, everybody I've told about said they've never seen an avalanche there before. Great. Well, thanks very much for your help. Okay. Anytime, Keith. So the lessons we can learn from this is that the snow is always trying to tell us something. Shooting cracks suggest that the snow is under tension and that a slab avalanche may propagate across the slope. As well, just because you've ridden a slope for years or no one has ever seen an avalanche on a slope doesn't mean that given the right conditions that it won't release. For more information on avalanche training courses in Western Newfoundland, contact Keith Nickel at the following email address.